So I'm at the dentist office there and uh, she says give me a big toothy grin because she wanted to line up the x-ray machine and take a picture of my teeth because you know that's what they do there. And uh, so I go like this you know and, and I'm holding that. I'm, I'm holding and holding and uh, she's taking it's like a minute goes by and she's still fiddling trying to get just the right angle and uh, you know you can only do that for so long and it starts to become funny right and uh, so my my stupid grin starts to turn into a real grin but uh, so uh, hey I've been doing some road building apparently that's turned out fairly well and uh, but uh, not much has been going on in the shop the last couple of weeks so today I want to locate the top shock mount position on the suspension project so we're going to take a little trip over to the uh, Grotto One Animation Center okay so here's a quick 10 second rendition of some dude's buggy so uh, let's say this guy's just come off a jump and uh, right now it's just bottomed out and you can see he's still got some ground clearance and uh, that's all good but in the real world what would happen is the tires would actually compress some and it would actually use up some ground clearance with uh, tire compression and, and then there's actually one more factor and that is the the tires themselves can actually pound themselves into the ground soft terrain and you'd lose some ground clearance because of that also so in, so what could start off as uh, what looks like enough ground clearance it gets less and less when the other factors are taken into account and then the uh, the driver could end up with the back injury if the frame uh, hits the ground because it's not like a dirt bike or an ATV where you can use your legs for a suspension so uh, it's all relied on uh, the uh, the machine suspension itself so it's pretty critical that uh, I get it right the first time so ATV tires like what I was uh, originally running on this machine they typically run at uh, considerably lower pressure than an automotive style tire so that's one of the reasons that I changed over to this style is because I can uh, I can get a little bit more air pressure in these which is going to uh, reduce the amount of uh, tire compression on uh, jumps and also it's bigger than what I had before and a bigger tire is also going to help to increase uh, the ground clearance so I think it's pretty obvious that a machine like this can be really dangerous to operate and I've talked about this in the past and that is that this is not a video series showing you guys how to build an off-road machine but rather it's a video series where I let you guys follow along as I build my own experimental machine so big difference there so before I start with this project of locating the top shock mounts I had to uh, establish how much ground clearance I'm going to need for this project and it's not going to be the same for every machine because of uh, various uh, factors that are going to uh, influence it and uh, once I have that uh, established I also have to know how much ground clearance I've got on the machine as it sits on the jack stand uh, that's a measurement that uh, is a factor here also in uh, getting this all set up so I'm getting ready to make a mark here on this piece of cardboard up here and I got my uh, fantastic family of vice grips helping me out here and right there is a temporary bracket that I just spot welded to the frame and on that I've got a piece of flat plate bolted to it and onto that is clamped my piece of cardboard onto which I'm going to make a mark so right now the uh, suspension is extended right to the max actually a little bit beyond because I have to take into account my limit strap but uh, I'm all set up here I've got it in the, in the position that I want so and the shock has got its brackets spot welded onto the uh, lower arm and uh, so the shock is sitting in its proper position there and uh, so I'm going to set you guys up on a tripod. That so was a couple of weeks back. I made a video about sorting out shifter geometry on my Firebird drag car. Well, what I'm going to do now is I'm just using the same technique to locate uh, shock position. So I'm going to stick my uh, marker through my shock and I'm going to run it along this piece of cardboard. And make my mark. So I want to build this machine with a couple of different suspension travel options by just pulling the uh, pin for the top shock mount and moving it to a different location to change the travel and you can see what I've done now you can see the blocks of wood there and I got a couple of little spacers under there also and uh, so I've once again I've measured from the spindle to the ground and uh, so this is the second position that I'm going to have for suspension travel and uh, 
back to the tripod. I'm going to make another mark now. Okay, so I had to cut this cardboard back, fold it out of the way, so that I can get my shock in close enough to uh, get the marker in there and make that mark. So I'm going to go ahead now, a second mark, marker through the shock. So I've got the suspension fully compressed now and carefully measuring from the end of the spindle to the floor just like I did in the uh, other two positions. So I've also got the shock fully compressed now unlike the uh, first two measurements where the shock was fully extended and uh, yeah so the shock is fully compressed and I'm also taking into account my bump stop. So and this here I'm actually using this from my uh, practice tree for my drag car. It's a telescopic post I use for the the pretend uh, starting tree I've got. So back to the tripod and let's see what's going to happen next. Okay so I've already trimmed off some more cardboard here that I'm not going to use. So I'm ready to make the last of my marks. So what I end up with is two shock mount positions right at the intersect points. One here and then uh, another one here. So as long as nobody's going to come and bump my cardboard, I'm going to have uh, the exact location on uh, how to build this top mount the whole bracket assembly here.